The message we're sending from the Promise to Protect Tour is that we're more determined than ever and we're organizing. One thing that I plan on taking away is to work closely with Colorado groups to divest from these pipelines. People power is what really connects us all and makes me feel whole. Line three is not the answer. I've worked at a half dozen solar fields. The future is not in fossil fuels. The Phillips 66 refinery is wanting to bring more tar sands tankers through our, our San Francisco Bay. There's true allyship that's happening and that's really building here. The fight right here, right now, is the fight against the Williams Pipeline. It's going to connect to what's going on in South Dakota. This fight will reverberate into the rest of the United States. In the Pacific Northwest, we are the final stop between a lot of these fossil fuels getting sent via ship to markets in Asia. The Chicago area is one of the hubs in the United States for the refinement of tar sands oil. We're trying to get permits to frack our backyard. We will not stop till fossil fuels are kept in the ground. Any time that we can stop or block or hesitate them moving forward, it has a rippling effect in the whole industry. We have a right as Native people to protect what is ours. If you're against the KXL pipeline, come join us. If you're against the fossil fuel industry, come join us. Do anything you can.